back. No, you can't make me. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hey, girl, hey. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Please make sure that your notifications are turned on. And if you are not already, girl, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Hair Life. So today's video is going to be an unboxing and show and tell and how I pretty much got my wig looking like this. I was sent this wig by samsweedy.com. I will have the link to the wig down below in my description box. So the wig that I'm wearing is the Stylus Swiss Lace Silk Top Lace Wig. And the name of this wig is Swiss Goddess, and I do have it in a number two. Here is the stock card for it. The wig has four by four parting, and I showed you guys the parting area in the video. Um, and right here, they have their model, and it just shows you a middle part and then both side parts. So the parting is pretty good on here. It goes back pretty far, it goes all the way to right here, and then I showed you guys how far it goes on the side. The texture of this wig is bomb, like, it's not barbie like this is like a yakky looking wig if you had a relaxer or even if you were natural and you just like straightened it but didn't straighten it bone straight this is exactly what that looks like so i say that in the video i'm not wearing a stocking cap y'all i promise you this happens to me every time every time i go to record i cannot find something as soon as i'm done i'm looking at the stocking cap right now but i have already finessed everything so yeah stocking cap will definitely help you know lay your actual hair down um and my camera did die before i was showing you guys everything that i did i after i plucked the part put the powder and everything in there that i showed you guys make little baby hairs from the wig i did take my uh head scarf took that i put water all on the um parting area like all up here and then i took my head scarf tied it around and i left it on my hair for about 10 minutes to lay it down super super flat so yeah so far i'm loving this wig i ran my fingers through the wig i'm not getting any shedding from the front the back was starting to tangle up on me a little bit um yeah like y'all can see that right there it's tangling up a little bit i would just suggest going out and you wear this to just keep a brush so you can you know get out any little snags but the front to middle part of the wig is not giving me any tangling or shedding oh and one other thing you guys i have noticed this is the second wig from the stylist that i've reviewed the lace that they use is so super super soft i do not want hard lace scratching up against my scalp so i love that they use soft lace for their wigs um so you know on the back it just tells you guys it has multi-directional parts versatile styling natural looking scalp maximum manageability Flawless appearance, hidden knots on the sick top, lightweight, comfortable, and four by four parting. And I definitely agree with all of that. Yeah, this so. wig is really, really pretty. I really like it. Um, it does come in other colors, but like I said, you can check all that out on samsbeauty.com. Right, let's get into this day. So this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to it, but I love the texture of this wig and I like how it has these long layers in it. Show y'all, comes a little bit past my boob. And this is all the hair in the front so y'all can see what the density is like on the wig. So it's flat for the most part, but this part in the area I definitely need to tweak so I'm gonna just slide it over to where I want my middle part and I do not have on a stocking cap right now let me just run my fingers through here and see if we got shedding I don't have anything which is really good Okay, in the back I got one strand, but I didn't get anything in the front. So, okay, so the parting stops about here. And stops right here on this side. A flip over. Like a... You know? But right now, I want a middle part, so we're going to fix that right now. I'm 
just dipping my fingers in this cup of water that I have to try to lay things down some more. Like I said, I don't have a stocking cap on. So, and my hair is not in cornrows. It's in like eight plaits. And then I pin them down. So, I mean, that's still pretty flat for my hair not to be flat underneath this. Squeeze the part just a little bit more. And then I'm going to take my face powder and the part so it'll look natural. And then I'm going to cut the lace off. So y'all know I always like to add some baby hair. Just make some with the wig hair instead of pulling out my own. Just so. so to make your own baby hairs, you wanna pull out a small section of hair like this. It's really, really thin, as y'all can see. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and I don't want them to be too long, but I'm just doing my scissors like that. And I'm going to take my Eco Styler edge brush and I'm going to take the brush side first. Dip that in some Eco. And make some baby hairs. My baby hairs poke out a little bit over here, so I'm gonna just slick those down. Yeah, like I said, if you want to, you can do what I just did in the front. You can do that across the entire hairline, if you please. A little bit of shedding, but it's probably from me um, tweezing the part. Okay, so that right there is way too much powder, like way too much. So I'm just gonna rub that out a bit. And then to like kinda tighten that back up a little bit, I'm gonna use my Gerard, Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to Go powder and just, you know, fix that. Juice, juice, juice. Blame it on my jewel.